Hi everyone! In today's episode, I want to tell you about a very special experience that I had when I was a child with none other than a ball lightning. So, this is a very interesting story and uh, with some lessons, and uh, keep up with me if you can. First of all, let's make it clear what exactly is ball lightning. Since I'm not an expert on the subject and I only know as much about it as most people, I would read to you the Wikipedia entry on ball lightning. Ball lightning is a rare and unexplained phenomenon described as luminescent, spherical objects that vary from pea size to several meters in diameter. Though usually associated with thunderstorms, the observed phenomenon is reported to last considerably longer than the split-second flash of a lightning bolt and is a phenomenon distinct from St. Elmo's fire. Some 19th century reports describe balls that eventually explode and leave behind an odor of sulfur. Descriptions of ball lightning appear in a variety of accounts over the centuries and have received attention from scientists. An optical spectrum of what appears to have been a ball lightning event was published in January 2014 and included a video at height frame rate. Nevertheless, scientific data on ball lightning remains scarce, although laboratory experiments have produced effects that are visually similar to reports of ball lightning, how this relates to the supposed phenomenon remains unclear. So to this day, it is still a mystery to science why ball lightning forms, what is their purpose, if there is any, and there are really two in parallel at the same time near the Earth's surface in two different parts of the world as twins because I have heard such informations before too. So we cannot know all of this and we can only learn more from previous records, possible experiences and people's reports provided that they are true. I can assure everyone that mine is 100% true and I still remember it clearly. So let my story follow now. It must have been uh, 1994 or 95, uh, so the incident happened roughly 30 years ago, when I was 10 or 11 years old. I lived in the countryside with my parents and my brother in a small settlement of 5,000 people in southern Hungary and it was summer. I don't remember the weather exactly, but I know that there was no storm or rain, maybe a little shower earlier. It was a completely uh, normal summer day and of course it wasn't uh, nearly as hot as an every summer day nowadays, let's say in July or August. So it was a maximum of 86 degrees and I was in our family house which was built in the western part of the village, almost at the very edge of the settlement, because not far from us, about 100 meters, there were already four men. So I was in the house and I just came out of the bathroom, then I headed to the kitchen through the living room, one wall of which was a glass wall and the door, so the room faced the yard almost as you can see in the picture. As I walked towards the glass wall and then turned left to the kitchen door, from the corner of my eye I saw a glowing ball outside that passed in front of uh, the glass wall at waist height. Then it suddenly stopped almost in front of me at the door for about two or three seconds. It was about the size of a basketball, but not like this. It was more like this. And it uh, was orange in color, just like this. And it shone and uh, lit brightly. So there was a wooden door between the square and me. I stopped for a moment because I didn't understand what was happening and then the bright uh, sphere suddenly blowed up with a sharp sizzling fizzling noise. And uh, I was the only one at home, my brother was at the neighbor at the time and uh, he just walked over back to our house and uh, when he was uh, passing in front of the neighbor's house he also heard it too. And uh, he was quite surprised, just like me. And I remember 
I turned back to the bathroom in fright, of course, and stayed there until my brother, who is eight years older than me, came back into our house. Then I asked him if he had heard the pop or he had seen it and what he thought it might have been. My brother was always love science, uh, so he was much more knowledgeable about these subjects than I was and uh, told me that it was probably ball lightning. By the way, I got this t-shirt from him when he was in the States. Then he told me how hot they glow and uh, that we have uh, to be careful with them as they, they cause serious injuries if we get uh, close to them. And since they are very rare, only a very small percentage of people will encounter them in their lifetime. But it, uh, if it do happen, I would advise you uh, not to go near them, do not take photos, at least uh, not with flesh. Do not disturb them so that they do not change direction and uh, start towards us. I don't think uh, that would uh, happen anyway, but you never know. So most of the reports were about them bursting or disappearing within a, in a few seconds. So we can only glimpse them for a short time. I think it's okay to look at them from afar, but don't go near them. So this will remain an experience for a lifetime, even after almost 30 years. That day is still vivid in my mind and uh, that afterwards I became a minor celebrity on the street. I told the story to a lot of people and some asked me about my experiences uh, and whether I was afraid when it happened and uh, stuff. So uh, similar cases happen to some of us. You don't need to be afraid of them, but you have to be humble with nature and uh, be careful. Uh, you have to take all the uh, precautions uh, you can. For example, if there is a storm, do not go outside and uh, do not stand under uh, or near a tree. It is uh, better to be in a safe building dep depending on the size of a storm or in a shelter. Of course. That's all for today. If you like the video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel because I have more similar stories that I would uh, gladly share with you. The channel was actually created for educational purposes. So in the future, I would like to make videos from which people can learn a little. If you uh, would be interested in my self-management and film books, uh, then uh, check them out. You will find it. Thank you for watching. Be careful with ball lightning. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.